What? Hello, all you guys and gals. Welcome to myself playing Shadow the Hedgehog. This is a 3 day 3, and I hope that you enjoyed this fabulous episode. So today we're going to jump onto Sky Troops, a level that I'm quite fond of because you can blow ships up, you can blow jewels up, and race to the finish. If you see a pattern of blowing stuff up, that's why I like it because, like Wario, this reminds me of Wario World because you can destroy things. And being a a, a guy who likes destroying things in video games and video games only, it suits me. Hello, Doomsai. How are, how are you today? Well, you see, I don't want to listen to you yet. And as I said in previous episodes, psst, by the way, this is where you begin to listen really intently right here. I'm doing the story mode mission, the alignment that'll push me into story mode. I did that one last. So right now I'm doing normal mode. Because in story mode, I'm not going in the linear fashion now, am I? I apologize. This episode was, well... A mess because I was working on it, but I had to go out of town kind of last minute, or not really last minute, but to me it was last minute because I like sleep. And this episode kind of got fragmented. Fortunately, I was able to gather a lot of it. The only thing you miss is a little bit of Shadow's dialogue, but let's be honest, the guy monologues a lot. Are you really missing much? Yeah, I thought so. And also, be on the lookout for my brand new Let's Play that I'm going to be working on. <laughs> I got stuck there. It's kind of funny. It's a series that I've always loved and I wanted to do for a long, long time. I love Kirby. Kirby's amazing. Is that Hey! Oh, I remember my voice could actually mimic that quite well. Back when I sounded like a little teenager. <laughs> my cool yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Kirby returned to... Oh, that was weird. Kirby Return to Dreamland is the game, and I hope you enjoy it. It's quite fun, and I'm gonna post up my next episode probably the next day when you see this. And since I'm behind Shadow of the Hedgehog, I'll upload episode 5, which is one I'm really looking forward to. It's one of my favorite levels in the whole game. I'll release that one quite soon. I apologize for how late this episode is. It was not supposed to be this late. I got right before I went on a trip on when I went out of town, I was attempting to get some of the data there so I could work on it when I was actually away, but I didn't get enough data. And then when I actually opened up the file to actually gather everything, the file, it was not sync, it was not synchronized, the audio and the visual for some very odd reason. So that made things really annoying. So then I decided to pretty much redo it. But fortunately at that time, before I left, I recorded another portion of this, which has the story mode section, which I was luckily able to grab, because if I hadn't grabbed it then, when I grabbed the rest of this data recently, I wouldn't have been able to grab the story mode version, because I have proceeded in the story already. So, this episode is lucky to have obtained what it did, and at the same time it was my fault for being sleepy. Oh no, I was sleeping, I'm such a dick. <laughs> anyway, I uh, no real complaints. You're getting the episode, and I'm happy to give it to you. I just apologize for being late. Also, check out Kirby Return to Dreamland or KRDL if you prefer. And I don't prefer getting smacked into these little guys. Let's beat them up and take away their shields. Let's make them feel weak and powerless. Yeah. So, yeah, if you continue going along here, you'll eventually. Yeah, I don't know. Right now, I'm just, just follow the path. I'm not too lazy. And yet, I'm not gonna be lazy. Hey, a shadow box. Just move along here, and you'll eventually have to destroy that that black armed bird or, to fly through the level. Hey, a shadow box. Do you know how many? Do you know how much I care about this? Well, it's gone now. So you have your answer. So once you kill this bird, kill it, then you command its body to fly you. That's good. I guess. You just basically want to fly through and don't get killed or smashed by a pillar like I just did. If you notice my hero bar, if you notice in this normal mode, I've actually been building up the hero bar. Primarily because, you can go back to the episode as I'm talking and watch the hero bar. If you want, it's, it's up to you, but... So yeah, hero bar, because Chaos Control shoots you forward, like so. Oh wait, you're at the end. 
Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a running start. Oh god, explosion. What I like to do in the past is jump into the ring and just fall off. But you see, because I got the ring. You're not getting away from me this time, Doctor. So I took the level. Wow, pretty good time. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Perfect. I'm proud of this. I'm really excited for next, the next episode. You guys are you guys are just going to be like, oh, cool, next episode, I guess. But I'm just be like, yeah, next episode. I get to be really cool. I get to go to a fun level. Yeah, now? All right, so I've done normal mode. And I'm going to leave on an evil allegiance. So by default, this has to be evil. Yep, that makes sense. I'm totally not lying. Okay. In this blue sky, by the way, I'm lying. At it from afar. It's hero mode. I've seen it before. So this one is a fun level. Well, these are, most of these levels are fun levels. See that ship out there? <laughs> You'll see that in about, what, like, the 13 more minutes? Nah, I don't know. So, I don't want to listen to Doom, because for some reason he's ugly right now, because that would affect me listening to him totally, I'm like that, you know? No, I don't want to listen to him, because I want to be a good boy. I want to take this gun, because this gun is so fun. I'm not even kidding. I like this gun. The sh gun I have right now... It's alien technology, as you know. You can obviously tell that. No, we made it it's so cool. It is so... I don't know, I just like it. It's powerful. I also just like being hit by it. Yeah, just like that. I saw that coming towards me right as it was... Shot out. I didn't think I'd be able to dodge it in time. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't dodge it in time. So basically, what you have to do is blow up these, well, jewels. I was gonna say crystals. You blow up the jewels, and this is hero mode. So more of a reason why to destroy. Why you should be destroying the Black Arms, guys. Don't want to destroy Eggman's fleet when you're obeying. Hero mode, because Eggman is the symbol of hero. If you do that, you'll become a dick, and you get dark red chaos blast energy. And who wants chaos blast energy right now? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. So what you do is basically just proceed the level, except you'll run into the five jewels. The first one we've already passed. Whenever you see these temples, like right where I am right now, assume to see a jewel in there. See, there's so far I've been two in the temple. My are in attack formation. And, well, I'm amazed that didn't just hurt me. And basically what you want to do is you need to destroy the black arms to proceed through said temples. And do what you want. I personally like killing these guys. Notice my hero bar is very high. I feel very good right now. I feel like a good boy. I feel like... I feel like I'm Hedgehog of Steel. By the way, I saw Man of Steel. Without giving away spoilers, I thought it was excellent. I mean, some people are really gonna be like, no, I don't like as much for whatever reason, but I thought it was nice. I've always been a fan of Superman. Superman is cool. Now I'm gonna fly away. We nothing really important back there. Back to Man of Steel. Without giving spoilers, I think you all, I think you guys, if you're a fan of Marvel or superheroes, it's quite impressive. I, the visuals are stunning. It makes me think of beautiful things. And it's a pretty good prequel to Superman. Yeah, I really don't want to say too much more because I feel like somewhere in my voice or something I say can lead to pe can lead to people thinking, oh, that's a spoiler. Oh, you ruined the movie for me. Screw you, Asia. So here's a, another temple jewel, which is not in the temple. So it's just a jewel. One out in the open. Another one directly after it. These are fairly in. They're fairly close to being in order. Or not in order. They're close to each other, except for the last one. So there's the fourth one, and now you have the fifth one, which is at the very end. So do what you want, build up your hero mode or whatever. Do what you want, I mean, I'm building up my hero mode because I want to get farther ahead, because I'm an ambition, I'm, I'm, ambitious. I'm ambitious, and I want to do well, and I want to just, you know, do things. Good stuff, I'm giving so much detail, guys, you, you don't even know. So here's another thing. As, as I've told you before, or I think I mentioned it, or I may not have. Either way, you'll know about it now. I'm going to do three entire timelines for Shadow. This is about just over halfway through the first timeline. If I have done a level before, if I cross the same level, I'll do this. Since I've been so adamant against 
showing really anything with the shadow box. If I come past that level again, I will use one of the items in that level a lot, if not throughout the entire level. Because I feel like I've hit them enough just because I feel like they're too easy to win a level with. So if I've done the level already and I'm doing this in this FP, is, you know. And then, then if I'm doing this, if, I'm, if I am doing a level which I've already done, I will use an item. One of the items is one of my favorites, actually, in, in a lot of games. Alright, well, if you jump... Yeah, I was talking and I destroyed the jewel. I shot at an angle. Because that is supposed to go at... Yeah, I'll make fun of Josh Jefferson's speech. Yeah, who cares? So basically, yeah. That was probably one of my fastest hero runs and a really high score. Well, guys, Perfect. that was the normal and hero version. Now we have to actually go to the story. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> see you in a moment. As I said earlier, this episode is missing a little bit of audio because it is technically fragmented. But I'll say what we missed. Who am I? I need to find the answer to that myself. The only clues I have are the mystical chaos emeralds. I have to find them. I defeated a giant flying monster and got the third chaos emerald. Looking for the next Chaos Emerald, I arrived at the Doctor's Twisted Theme Park. I agreed to help the Doctor fend off the gun soldiers and got the Emerald in the process. With the Emerald in hand, I left the park in search for the others. We actually have to continue the story and I find it. Guys, it's the bald man, a man you've never seen before, totally. Now I can show you his face. They're destroying everything, They're destroying everything aren't they? Eggman, your mustache, your mustache looks so cool. No I actually like this scene right here. I like the effects. I, I like no that what appears to be CGI. Ah, yes, this is CGI. Size. I like it. Go, Eggbots. Fulfill his bidding. Do as he requires and make yourselves easier targets for me to destroy if you were to get in my way. This is where I'm headed next for this level. No one expected this baby could fly. I transported this wow. fly long time. To this planet over two thousand years ago. Mm. Something you should it's ball around your head as it was. That's the point where I tried to kill the world. How long he's been there to a car like this or something else. I'm actually going to like Black Doom as a character. Find him interesting. Because like Shadow, there's not much you know about him. They can stop me. Like him? Ugh, he's definitely got that ego. Isn't that. What's doctor? that, Shadow? The Doctor's ships? Not the Doctor I like, Shadow, but Doctor Eggman? Do not fear. Okay, Shadow, do your business. Alright, so I have to be a badass. So I'm gonna be a badass. Being a badass entails going to this level again. The Sky Treats. Except this time, I have to destroy the Doctor's ships. Hmm. I seem to be okay with that, because I like blowing things up. And it's this, this level. Blue sky, <laughs> staring at awesome. it from afar. Have I seen it so yeah, before? I've done this two other times. It's easy to predict. At least how the level will go. Basically, whenever you get the chance, you just get turret. Shoot it at Shoot the turrets at the ship and blow the ship. It's typically a sustained view. Why not? And yeah, when you get the chance, you jump in a turret like this, and I recommend shooting down these. Well, I, I think of like the offensive capabilities of the ships, so you can actually have no difficulty, because if you get shot enough, your turret that you're using will actually become a nab and get destroyed. So yeah, shoot the ship about. I don't really have a number, I wasn't really counting the numbers of shots, I was more or less just shooting it until it explodes. So if that's okay with you, you better be okay with you. Then it's fine. So yes, we've blown up these temple tools. We've raced around. Now we have to kill more aliens. Except no we don't because this is hero mode. So I'm gonna stick it onto dark mode. Now I'm going to, I guess, do the robotic version of parkour. Robotic parkour. It will invade society because it's so popular. Oh, no, that's just me. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, um, you use this robo walker to get up. There's two robo walkers in this game, by the way. There's the one for jumping, the one I just used, and the one for like weaponry, the one you see in multiplayer. You can't jump as high and it has a gun on it. It's kind of fun. 
So yeah, once you continue the level, I personally like shooting those balloons. With that in quotations. They get red. Big. <laughs> and yeah, you have to kill the black aliens to get through some parts of the level. So yeah, once you do that. These chips are not too hard to miss. They're really quite easy. Can you see them? You saw your first one. One of the other ones will be down on the lower section of the level. You have the choice of going up by stepping on a platform and going up, or you can go right and down. If you're doing dark mission, you have to go right and down. I think it's the third ship. The other ones... Sorry, I'm out of breath. The other one's pretty easy to find and really easy to destroy. Let's see if I can count how many shots it takes to destroy the ship. Let's just take out the bullet. Take out the gun. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Blow up that. I don't like shot at. Alright, let's take out the gun first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six approximately. Approximately. And yeah, as Black Doom would want us, we are doing it. He would want us to destroy Eggman bots. To be honest, I really don't care. I kind of like the black arm weaponry a little more. I don't know, Eggman's guns feel very clunky. Because I'm judging that off of... What exactly? Yeah, who cares? My voice cracks so much, it's like I'm going to review reverse puberty. Oh, I'm so silly. Silly me. Alright, I think it's this part right here where you have to go down for the... Yes, go down for the ship. Once you see the ship right there, you just jump into this little turret and blast the living, blast the living shit out of it. Yeah. And then you blast more of the sun into the sky and just have a good old happy day. Once you murder Dr. Eggman's work and construction of machinery concerning the ships, once you blow up the ships, you just have a fine dandy day. Black Doom just wants other people to be miserable. I admire that, and I hate being hit by those creatures. By admiring that, I'm completely full of it. I don't like destroying things, but he's the boss, and don't piss off the boss, kids. Whenever a boss tells you to do something, you do it, unless they tell you to blow up a ship, then you really make sure to do it. That had a point, that had a point to it, but I don't remember. I personally recommend blowing up that torch so you can see clearly, and not sucking with aim, which I usually don't. Oh, that was dumb. That shot should, the first shot I aimed at that left turret should have hit it. And just keep firing away, fire away. I'm kidding. Just keep shooting. And then once you've destroyed four, the last one, again, like the temple jewels, the hero mission is at the very end. So for now, just do what you want, Rex. Wreck stuff, do what you want, do what you want, do what you want to do, okay? Destroy anyone you feel like I'll let them get away. Wall jump like a boss because boss. Okay. And now, let's see, right now you could pull out a Chaos Control! So is it to the last ship, but it doesn't really matter. Or you could pull out a Chaos Blast and just destroy everything. But again, does not matter. I'm gonna ignore the shadow box because, because arbitrary reasons. As I said earlier in this episode, I'm really, really excited for the next episode because it's a mission that is just so fun either way, in my opinion. I'm gonna start on it immediately. I mean, I mean, for all you know, I have it done. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> what am I hiding? <laughs> not much. But anyway, yeah, so you're approaching the end of this. See that giant ass ship? You gotta take it down. So, here's how you do it. You don't click on the, don't run through the normal ring. You can get the checkpoint if you want. I think it'd be a good idea in case you died. I recommend jumping on here, jumping up, getting in the gun turret, shooting all these little turrets, not sucking with aim, which I happen to be doing. I'm gonna pull this out of the way because it could be interfering with my destruction of the ship. Then, yeah, just keep shooting it. This was really quite an easy mission. Yay, I did it. Oh, I took a shot. No. But how many craps do I give? I did it.
Ah, get it. I destroyed the doctor ship. But I don't want to break doctor, the TARDIS. I have no further use for you. This is where you laugh. Let's see how well did I do. Well, I did quite well. Well, guys, this has been Aza 3883. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful episode of Free Play Shadow the Hedgehog. I think Free Play Shadow the Hedgehog sounds awkward. Of Shadow the Hedgehog. See you guys in the next episode very soon. And like always, I can't let you see this, guys. Bye.